your perfect cocktail for New Year's Eve. Not only is it gorgeous, I mean a little fancier, it's a step up from just a glass of bubbles. Um, this is bright, citrusy, and a really happy start uh, to your new year. Let's go shopping. All right, first up for our version of the Coletti Royale, tequila. And we're gonna choose one of my absolute favorites, La Granita. It's a reposado, but on the lighter side. Um, lots of vanilla, not too peppery, super smooth, and perfect for our cocktail. All right, on to our next ingredient. All right, next in our recipe, it calls for St. Germain. In ours, we use Tattersall's Creme de Fleur. This is distilled with six distinct flowers, giving it lovely depth and complexity and making it an awesome alternative to your elderflower liqueur. The recipe also calls for Contro. We're gonna use Salerno Blood Orange Liqueur. I love this liqueur. Um, it is bursting with real, authentic, delicious blood orange flavor. Um, plus, it's a gorgeous bottle. One more thing. All right, lastly, we're coming over here to our value shelf for, believe it or not, a French-made sparkling wine. Um, this dry rosé, beautiful color, beautiful fruit flavor that's gonna blend with our cocktail and at a price point that we don't mind throwing in the cocktail. And with that, let's head to our studio. Okay, so now that we've done our shopping, I'll show you how we make our riff on the Coletti Royale. So take two ounces tequila, half ounce Salerno, three quarters ounce of our creme de fleur, half ounce blood orange juice, and a half ounce lime juice. <laughs> and if you can do this and get it all in the shaker, you are much more talented than I am. Two dashes orange bitters. Take your ice. Shake. <laughs> Take your champagne flute. Then the most exciting part, potentially. And then you're gonna float with your rose bubbles. And then Garnish with your blood orange. Wow. Okay, that's actually really delicious. <laughs> and this is how we make our riff on a Coletti Royale. 